In this problem, we have to find dp dx using implicit differentiation. So here we're thinking of p as being a function of x. So we can say that p is equal to you know, p of x. So to do this, we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we have d dx of the left-hand side, so p squared plus p plus 2x, and that's equal to d dx of 40. That means we're taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. You can actually skip this step. I just included it just for you know extra steps. Okay, so let's take the derivative of p squared with respect to x. So basically p is some unknown function of x. So when we take the derivative, we have a function of x raised to the second power. So we have to use the chain rule. So we bring down the two, so 2p, subtract one from the exponent, which leaves us with a one, which we don't have to write, times the derivative of the inside, that's the chain rule. So the inside function is p, and its derivative with respect to x is called dp dx, plus the derivative of p with respect to x, which is just dp dx, and then the derivative of 2x with respect to x is just 2, because the derivative of x is 1. Then over here, we have the derivative of 40, which is 0. Okay, we're looking for dp dx, so we can factor it out from these terms here. So this is dp dx, parentheses, and then we have 2p plus one, right? We pulled out a dp dx from, from both of these. And then this two, we can subtract it over. We'll do two steps in one. Boom, there it is. Almost done. You know, we're looking for dp dx, and it's being multiplied by all of this. So we just divide by all of it. So 2p plus one over, and then 2p plus one. These cancel, so we have dp dx, and that's equal to negative 2 over 2p plus 1. And that would be the derivative of p with respect to x. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.